Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll really help my channel out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this mini gorgeous resin pyramid and I actually put a tiny little rosebud in there so um, today we're going to be using the liquid diamonds resin and I am going to be including my mixing in this video um, so if you don't want to see that you can skip over it and just fast forward um, but I wanted to include the mixing um, how I mix my resin because I did change it up a little bit recently. So for this project, we're going to be using the liquid diamonds resin and we're going to be pouring in layers. We're going to be pouring in three layers. So let's jump in and get started. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is how I prepped my roses. This is a little cup of resin. I attached a clothespin to my dried rosebuds dipped it in some resin and I'm placing it upside down in this piece of foam. That's going to seal the rose so they don't leak a bunch of bubbles into your pyramid. So I let those rosebuds dry 24 hours and then they're good to use. And I also wanted to show you guys um, my pyramid mold to keep the insert um, from sticking to the base of the pyramid mold, you can take some baby powder and just put it in there, um, you know, like if you were baking a cake and using flour and it pops right out. So thank you guys so much for the tips in my last video about the baby powder. It works like a dream and I actually put too much, so don't use quite this much, but um, sprinkle some baby powder in there, swirl it around, and then your silicone insert pops right out. So here's my liquid diamonds resin. Um, I'm going going to be mixing up 1.4 ounces of my part B and 2.8 part uh, ounces of my part A. This is a 2 to 1 ratio resin, so you need two parts part A and one part part B. And to mix my resin, um, I actually have been using these little bookmarks that I had made with leftover resin. You can use these, just wipe them off after you're done pouring and they're good to reuse. And you want to mix really slowly for three minutes. So here's how it's looking after three minutes, and I'm going to transfer this mix to another cup Make sure you scrape everything out of your first cup, and I'm going to mix it for another three minutes. And I know that this second cup looks like there's glitter in there, but there's not. I reuse my mixing cups, um, so all that glitter you're seeing is already set up inside the cup from a previous pour. So see how I'm mixing really slowly? Mix really slow. You want to scrape the bottom of your cup, scrape the sides of your cup. Make sure you're mixing slowly, and here's how it looks. See how clear that liquid diamonds is? That's why I love it for projects like this. I'm going to be adding a tiny bit of Lares True Blue Tint to my clear resin, and I didn't want much, so I added a drop to my knife, or my little plastic knife here, scraped off the excess, and I'm stirring it in. I didn't, I just wanted a tiny bit of blue. I didn't want much at all. And this is going to help too with yellowing. All resin over time will yellow a little bit, um, so this kind of helps counteract that. So here's the roses. You can see that resin's all dried on there. I attached a piece of string to the rose and attached that to a skewer, and that's how we're going to submerge the rose into our pyramid. I'm pouring that. So this is 1.5 ounces of the um, true blue tinted resin, pouring that in slowly. Um, this is kind of tricky because you are going to get bubbles just because of the way the pyramid's shaped. So I'm going in with some 91% isopropyl alcohol, spraying those bubbles and they pop right away. You don't want to um, add a ton of heat to your molds because it can damage your molds. So I like to use the 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles when I can. I'm just dropping that rose in there and kind of just twirling that skewer to get it um, to where I wanted it to sit inside the resin. I didn't want it, you know, all the way down. I kind of wanted it halfway submerged in there. And I'm going to take some tape, make sure it's not going to move around too much um, because the rose will kind of move around on your on that string there that you added. So tape it and then here we are the next day. I clipped that little string. The rose is nice and stuck in there. I'm just going to break off the stem and we'll be ready to pour the next layer. So this is liquid diamonds again. I'm going in with 1.5 ounces of just clear. I'm not going to add any of the true blue tint to this one. 
and then I'm going to go in and sprinkle some iridescent sparkle. Um, it's really chunky glitter from Laura's Art Corner. I'm going to sprinkle that on the bottom of this layer. And um, I waited one hour before I poured this in because I didn't want it to all sink. I kind of wanted it to just sit on there. So I waited one hour and then poured that in let it dry. Now here we are on day three. I'm adding some mirror mirror glitter to four ounces of liquid diamonds resin and I'm also adding some Lorez pearl white mica powder. I remembered that liquid diamonds is so thin um, glitter does tend to sink so I didn't want that look. I wanted to have it more of like an opaque white kind of sparkly layer as the base of my pyramid just poured it into my mold um, and that's it. I did spray it with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles, I'm sprinkling on some more of the mirror mirror glitter, let it dry for 24 hours and now here we are ready to pop it out of the mold. But see how easy this base pops out for using the baby powder really, really helps. Just don't add as much as I did because it was kind of messy. Um, so I would just do a little bit, swirl it around in your pyramid base and then add your silicone insert. And I was so excited to demold this. I really, really was, I've been planning to do this for such a long time and I was finally able to do it. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I hope you give this a try. I am going to take it outside in some better lighting to show you guys how pretty and sparkly this turned out. Um, I do all of my art in my garage and I have a ton of lighting out there, but it just, it never does the resin justice when I have all my lights on. It's much better in some natural light. And I forgot to mention to dry out my rosebuds. I just picked these from the garden, um, attached the stem to a little clothespin, hung them up upside down for about a month, and then they're good to go. You have your own dried flowers. Um, you can also buy these on Etsy. I will find um, a shop that has some available and link them down below. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below along with any coupon codes that I have. I have a 20% off coupon for the liquid diamonds resin and a 10% off coupon for all the glitters and pigments I used in today's video from Laura's Art Corner. So be sure to check out the description box if you guys want to get any of these products. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you soon for another video. Bye!